Assalamu alaikum. How many people have severed the relationship with others because of a harsh text that was sent in a moment of anger? How many professional athletes were ejected from the big game and blemished their careers due to the angry overreaction they've made? How many men have broken apart their families by uttering the statement of divorce and allowing their anger to get the best of them? How many people have broken knuckles or even scarred skin due to punching a wall or breaking a glass while they were angry? May Allah protect us. Brothers and sisters, these are just a few of the many examples of what may occur by not controlling one's anger. Now pay attention. When we start getting angry, it's like a small ignited flame and if we don't control it, then that fire will spread and will be much more difficult to contain. No wonder when a man asked the Prophet ﷺ for advice, the Prophet ﷺ said, لا تغضب, don't get angry. And he repeated it three times, لا تغضب, لا تغضب, لا تغضب. Brothers and sisters, every one of us needs to manage their anger, not just for people's sake, but for our own sake as well. No one wants to damage their health, faith and future. Isn't that right, brothers and sisters? Of the greatest and the core reasons of why a person gets aggravated and angry is due to the whispers of the devil, where he seeks to capitalize and take advantage of these moments. Why? To ruin you inside and out. May Allah protect us. We should not take the enmity of the devil lightly, for Allah has said, إِنَّ الشَّيْطَانَ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌّ فَاتَّخِذُوهُ عَدُوًّ Indeed, shaitan is an enemy, so take him as an enemy. We have to take it serious. The evidence of the devil's influence to one's anger can be seen in the following hadith, which is authentic and can be found in Al-Bukhari, from which we will also learn the dua from it as well. Sulaiman bin Surad, may Allah be pleased with him, عن, he said, while I was sitting with the Prophet وسلم, two men started cursing one another and things got heated. The face of one of them turned red and his jugular veins became swelled. Upon noticing this, the Prophet ﷺ said, I know of a word, a statement. If he was to say it, then it would rid him from his anger and he will be calmer. Had he say what? Had he say, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. Oh Allah, I seek your refuge. I need your help and protection from who? From the accursed shaitan. May Allah protect you from shaitan. From that shaitan who whispers evil to anger me and lead me to eventually harm myself and others. I challenge anyone to declare with belief in Allah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. When he or she is angry, accept that Allah will protect him or her from shaitan which will in turn calm them down. In addition to the hadith mentioned above, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also said, وَإِمَّا يَنْزَغَنَّكَ مِنَّ الشَّيْطَانِ نَزْغٌ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ and if the devil seeks to get you angry or suggest an evil thought, then seek refuge in Allah. Indeed, He is the all-hearing of your declaration and the all-knowing of your belief. May Allah bless you and protect you, brothers and sisters. Please be sure to share this video to maximize the benefit. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.